if you'd like to display your courses in a grid on a WordPress page or post similar to this, I'm going to show you how to do that now. So this is just a standard WordPress page and underneath featured courses, I want to list a few of the LearnDash courses I have available. Firstly, what is what you would need to do is head to LearnDash LMS and then add-ons. And if you haven't got it already, look for the LearnDash course grid add-on and it'll appear in the list here and it's free to enable. And you can enable it by clicking on this icon and then you will have to activate it here as well. Um, and then once that's activated, what that does is allow you to use some features within the WordPress editor that would allow you to uh, bring in a, a grid of that kind. So I'm going to edit this page and I'm editing it using WordPress's standard Gutenberg editor. I'm going to go to the feature courses section and then click on this add option here to add a new block underneath it. And I'm going to just search for Learn Dash. And we can see here we've got Learn Dash course grid. And what this does is bring in the grid here. Uh, now I've added that, I'm going to just cross that off. But what I can do is click into this and look at the different options we have here. We can control things like the number of columns. Uh, you know, if, if we have lots of courses, we might want to increase the number of columns. You can set the minimum width of one of these. So if, for example, if you're using a smartphone, it's the minimum width uh, that one of those would display, even if it's in a grid. There's a few different styles you can choose from. And if we just click through these, we can see what those look like. And we can choose the style of display for these. So masonry would work if you have sort of tiles of different sizes, potentially. Uh, you can also display these as a list so they wouldn't appear in a grid. They would appear one of the, under the other. But I'm just going to keep that as grid. And there are other things we can do to really customize what appears in this list. So we could even specify different you know, IDs and taxonomies of courses if you use those uh, and make it so that you know only uh, certain categories of course perhaps display in this list. And we've also got options here to enable or disable things like thumbnails, what content we want to appear, the thumbnail size we want to choose. And uh, you know, these all affect the, the display of this and we can see how uh, this is shown here. We might perhaps want to enable a progress bar showing the percentage completion and change some of the other options. Here again, we can change the categories and tags that appear. If you have pricing on your courses, you can also make it so that only uh, courses within a certain price range are shown here. And there's some other fine tuning you can do on things like the um, colors and styling of these. And you know that is you know, some other advanced settings here if you wanted to add like, additional CSS. But broadly speaking, that is how you add a grid. When we click save now, that will save the page. And if I ref uh, refresh it, I'll just view the page. We can see now under featured courses, we have our course grid.